So just a brief overview. This is vegetable oil. It's a triglyceride. It's very viscous, has lots of electrons. It's a very big molecule. So lots of intermolecular forces, London dispersion forces, mostly. And this is too sticky to go through uh, the fuel system of a car. If you react it with methanol, or indeed ethanol, in this case methanol, then what will happen is it will snip these three chains off to make smaller molecules with less viscosity. So that needs sodium hydroxide and heat. So set it up like this, triglyceride and the three alcohols, and then just swap this, this, and this for each other. And so now I've got three esters, and these, these three molecules have a lower molecular mass than the previous huge molecule, so they're less viscous. And this looks like methanol again, but no, no, it isn't methanol. Notice these three, three carbons here are joined up. So it's actually propane 1, 2, 3 triol, or there's another way of writing it too, 1, 2, 3 propane triol, which is known as glycerol. And so this is a much better fuel than the very sticky vegetable oil. All righty, so we're going to make biodiesel. How do you spell diesel? And we're going to use the process of trans esterification. So this is a triglyceride or, or triester, if you will, same thing. There's the ester linkage there three times. And this is a large hydrocarbon chain, but they're slightly different. This one's saturated. It has no carbon, carbon double bonds, just carbon, carbon single bonds. It's saturated. There's no room for hydrogen to go on there. But this is slightly unsaturated, and this is even more unsaturated here. Now, this molecule is very viscous, so it won't pass down pipes easily, uh, and it's hard to use as a diesel fuel. It's just too thick and sticky. Uh, because it has lots of electrons, and if you have lots of electrons, then you've got lots of London dispersion forces and lots of intermolecular bonds. So it's a very sticky molecule. But transesterification allows you to snip those three off, and now you've got three individual molecules which are actually uh, much more runny, less viscous. Now these are annoying to draw out time and time again, so you're allowed to replace them with a letter of the alphabet that hasn't been used uh, for an element yet, which is R. So this branch is going to be R, this branch is R prime, and this last branch is R double prime. Now you're reacting this with methanol, or it could be ethanol. I'm going to choose methanol. Now methanol in itself is a good fuel, but vegetable oil is probably uh, cheaper and easier to get than methanol, uh, I would imagine. So if you react the two together, you can make a, a better fuel. Got sodium hydroxide and heat. And like I said before, you're gonna swap these, those, and those to make the new product. So this first product is propen 1, 2, 3 triol. They might ask you about the viscosity of this, and it's highly viscous because it has room for three hydrogen bonds there. Now don't be fooled, this isn't the hydrogen bond, this is a covalent bond. That's an intramolecular bond. The hydrogen bonds that give this high viscosity are actually intermolecular bonds between one molecule and another. And this is actually an equilibrium.
And the product that we're really interested in are these different esters here. The one based on R, R prime and R double prime. So these three individual molecules now are a lot less viscous than this huge molecule together. So what other questions could they ask you? Well, it's equilibrium and this is the product that you want. So how could you force the equilibrium to go that way? Well, you could add more fat. Le Chatelier would then shift the equilibrium to that side to make more of these three different esters. You could increase the concentration or add more methanol. That might work. You could remove the glycerol. That would force it to the right. Or you could remove this. And hell, you're going to be removing this anyway and selling it, aren't you? So this whole process is known as transesterification. Trans means a, a cross. So this turns one ester and alcohol into a completely different ester and alcohol. So an ester and an alcohol changes to a different ester and an alcohol. So here's an example. This just seems, this just seems unnecessarily tedious and complicated, frankly. Who's that barking? I'm trying to do chemistry. The world's chemistry students are relying on me. Well, the few that I teach are. So what have the IB asked? Well, I had a look through the last few years. And they've asked for the symbol equation for this production of biofuel from that vegetable oil. I knew it had an E. And what's the catalyst, hydroxide, and the conditions, heated up. I also want you to know that biofuel and veggie oil have about the same energy of combustion as well. 